Who has time to watch a whole YouTube video these days? Not you. So we made them shorter for you. It's time for the TLDR on Ferra, the Sundered Tribes, in five easy minutes. We should go. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is before? No, no, no time for the intros. What exactly is Ferra, the Sundered Tribes? Well, it's a monster hunter meets animal. Before no. The sundering. No, epic voice. We don't have time. It's a monster hunter meets Animal Crossing style indie. Before oh, God damn it. the sundering, the gods once walked among us. But their power and hubris left this world in ruins. We eke out an existence in this fractured world. But now it has become blighted with a sickness. To understand why, you, the strongest of us, have traveled here to the Cursed Valley, bringing an expedition with you. We must find a cure for this pestilence to save our world. We must uncover its artifacts to save our way of life. Together, our people will brave the valley and unlock its secrets. To save ourselves. So as the epic voices just explained, in Ferra you are going to be dealing with God's hubris that has filled the world with corrupted monsters. It's a Monster Hunter meets Animal Crossing style indie game. It's currently in early access and it's going for the price of $22.49 in pounds, $26.99 in dollars, or eh, exchange rate. It's brought to you by the people at Massive Damage, who you might know for their retro space strategy RPG Halcyon 6. And it tasks you with stopping the corruption, building up a tribe, helping people actually get settled again, and they're going to help you bury bodies while you skin animals and wear them like a suit while you kill their friends. It's great. There's not much in the options menu, as you can see. Standard settings, graphics, blah, blah, blah. Audio, blah, blah, blah. Nothing that jumps out. And the game can be played up to four player co-op. There is no scaling yet for the monsters. It is something that they want to add later on. It's not currently here. This game is very early access. There is a warning box you can see now. It's shown when you first jump into the game. And there are things that are not yet in the game. You have a big old world map, but it is actually locked off in certain areas. Because while the world is there, the things to go in it are not yet ready. What else does Ferra have under its hood for you? Well, it has quests. It also has hitching, as you can see. We'll address that one in a moment. It has quests. It has your villagers who you can talk to and deal with. It has building, because of course you want building in a game that has this kind of aspect going on. You can see you can build your processors, you can build all your smithing stuff. You can also just like build structures and houses and have a fun little time doing that. You've also got the crafting that you can do for upgrading your gear. But the way that Ferra tries to stand out as Monster Hunter games are more and more common these days, is with its movement style. You see, Ferret is very aerial. You have a glider, you have a tether hook, and this is your main way of getting around this world. And it feels really enjoyable when it works. Because the problem at the moment that should be easy enough to fix is that the camera feels a little bit too close for my liking, which means it's hard to gauge where you are in relation to some object. And also, if it was going to do it, you saw it off in the base, and we'll show some footage that in here if we can't get it to happen. But the game hitches while you are ever hooking onto things and gliding around. And that kind of causes this issue where you'll slam into walls or just lose all momentum because you kind of lose where you're going. And in a game that's designed to be a aerial bullet hell monster hunter style game, like, that can cause a problem. But what about the actual combat in Pharaoh? That's one of the most important things, right? Well, you have your little flying things like this to throw out things at you, as you can see here, that we are heavily dodging. And we have a feather hide here that's trying to attack us. The AI in the monsters, unfortunately, is a little bit lacking at this point. I'm sure it will get improved. But they mainly have two attacks. And you can actually glitch them out. We're going to show some footage here of if you stand under it just right the ai dies and you can just kind of hit them without worrying which is a little bit underwhelming or disappointing 
it is early access we are going to be a bit forgiving on that one but it does break the enjoyment of the game and that's the big issue at the moment with ferret there's a lot going on here that has that potential that framework in place who doesn't want a game like this where it's monster hunting and base building and all of those aspects in between combined with a system that just has you going out killing things also getting your party members involved and your tribe involved in helping you carve up the monster it's a great added addition to it the one issue that we have at the moment personally is the hitching with the gliding and a really aggravating whistling noise that makes it think that you've got tinnitus when you're getting around and the ai with the monsters apart from that everything else is started in a good place and hopefully will get better and better it is very early access like we said but it's one of those issues of will the game survive long enough to actually get the upgrades and the refinement that it needs who knows if this is something that you're interested in of course wish list it or go and pick up a copy help out a small dev team it's not something that I think we would recommend if we were reviewing it right now, but this isn't a review. This is a TLDR. It's shorter. We don't have to give scores or anything. It's great. Freedom. Invigoration. You can see we're just trying to dodge a jelly and let's actually kill it. I mean, you've seen some of the combat from other things going on. Combat can get a bit hectic with all of the other things that get thrown at you. But there you go. This is a quick look at Farah. If it's something that you like, feel free to let us know down below whether or not you picked it up, how you're getting on with it, if it's something that you're thinking of wishlisting, any other Monster Hunter games that you enjoy, any other problems or ideas with the video or other things that we should check out. All the engagement is good engagement. It helps us out so much. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the short style. We're going to try this out, see how it goes. We'll be back for another one, hopefully soon. Until then, enjoy the whistling. Peace, and be good people. You're still here. That's crazy. Have you left a comment? Have you clicked the like button? Are you getting enough water? You need to look after yourself. You know this.